this is Pete Schmidt. Thanks for checking this video and my channel out. So I just finished playing a key of C major improvised slow blues. Um, there's three things that I wanted to talk about today in this tutorial, and that's uh, string bending for some expression, uh, also leaving space and phrasing the changes around the slow blues. So we'll get started on this, and if you're liking these videos that I do, please send a like, and remember to subscribe to my channel. I've got lots of videos, and I post something every week. This slow blues is in the key of C major. It's a 12-bar structure, and I'm largely using the minor and major pentatonic scales. So the first element I'm going to talk about is string bending. Um, you can use string bending for expression. Some people call it feel as well. So uh, it adds a lot of variety to the sounds and you can develop your own uh, string bending style with uh, a vibrato as well. So throughout this sample, I'm using uh, string bending and my own uh, form of playing vibrato. So I start off the, the improvised piece like so. A little bit of vibrato at the end. Since it's a quick change, I'm gonna start off with a bend right away into the four. Back to the root. So that's a BB King reminiscent lick, and an important element in string bending is bending to the root, or in this case, the C. Probably the most important uh, bend that you will find in uh, blues and rock. Bending to that root. Um, at the end of the note, I'm adding vibrato. There's so many ways of adding vibrato, and it's really involved topic. We could do a whole video on that, and actually, you could probably do a whole course on that. So, um, something to keep in mind and something to work on. Some of the other important bends found in rock and blues is bending to the five, bending to the four, and bending to the major third, all of which can be vibratoed at the end. So here's the five. And vibratoed. Um, here's the four, which is a big bend. I'm using three fingers in that case. You could use two if you like to as well. For backup. For some reason, I've gotten used to using my uh, pinky on some bends as well. So that's bending to the major third, another really important blues bend. Um, you could vibrato at the end of that as well. So that's going to the five again. Bending to the five. So we have bending to the root, bending to the four, bending to the five, and bending to the major third. So there's a lot more in between, but uh, that's a start. I'm going to do a whole video on that, on the, some of the finer points of bending coming up. So the other two important elements that I want to talk about are leaving space and uh, phrasing the changes of the 12 bar. So obviously leaving space is something that um, I tried to do uh, intentionally, um, not filling up the, uh, the changes with just more and more notes. So one way you can do that is literally stop playing and then leave a space. Also, you can sustain a note. And kind of let it uh, fade away. Or it could be like so. And then that space. All right. Just doing a vibrato is a way of um, 
filling but still playing spaciously, which is another word. And um, that leads into phrasing the changes. Um, I'm landing a lot on my root note. There. Landing on that uh, root note or that C. And phrasing around the four, I might do something like this. Landing on the four. And then resolving back to that one. Something reminiscent of Albert King. Based off this four chord. All right. On the five, something similar. Albert King style. All right, and based off that five chord. Well, maybe this. It's the five right there. Give that some vibrato. There's that five right there. to my five. So that's what I mean by phrasing the changes of the 12 bar in this slow blues example. So those were some ideas on getting started on improvising around the slow blues. String bending and vibrato, leaving space, and phrasing around the changes. Actually each one of those ideas could be justified by a full course let alone an introductory video like this. Maybe in the future I'll get a little more specific on each one of those topics. So don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel. I've got lots of videos and I post a new lesson tutorial each week. All right, we'll see you again soon.